I'm Ishan, and welcome back to Salesforce Sessions. Today, we're going to discuss a scenario that we run into frequently with our clients, the Salesforce org merger. This commonly happens when one company acquires another, and we need to bring their Salesforce orgs together to unify all the information into a single source of truth. There are some clear benefits to merging Salesforce orgs, but also a few considerations that you'll want to think about before you begin. First, let's go through the benefits. Once orgs have been merged, users in all business units are able to see a 360 degree view of the customer all in one place. Next, by standardizing processes across business units, it's easier to onboard and train new users on a single system. Further, a standardized business process within a single org will help to eliminate any guesswork and also increase overall data quality. Finally, there's a lower cost to maintaining a single org versus multiple Salesforce orgs in terms of both time and money. While an org merger is often the goal, it's important not to rush into it before some thoughtful analysis. So there are a few items to consider. First, an org merger requires significant investment into both training and change management, especially for users of that retiring Salesforce. And in standardizing those business processes across the business units, there may be additional considerations when building components like Salesforce automations. Finally, with an org merger, the data from the retiring org will be added to the surviving org. So the surviving org is likely to reach data limits faster and has an increased possibility of hitting those Salesforce governor limits. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for future episodes where we discuss the different approaches to org mergers in greater detail. See you next time.